Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about iOS 13.1. Apple released the software a little over 24 hours ago and as I usually like to do, I like to share with you guys my follow up 24 to 48 hours later to explain the battery, the performance, any additional new features and changes that I may come across. Now there's a very interesting feature on 13.1 that I've noticed that isn't fully working as of yet but I wanted to share with you guys and that is the sharing audio feature. We'll get to that here in a few seconds but I've been traveling as you can probably tell this is in my studio so I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you guys my thoughts on the software because I've been using the iPhone out and about so I've been using the software as it is intended all the new features within the camera within the software itself and everything else now one thing I do want to mention is with iOS 13.1 beta 4 I did say that the wallpapers the live wallpapers for the new iPhone 11 were removed in the final official release these wallpapers are back so these really cool live wallpapers are now back on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. So those are back here on your iPhone for those of you that haven't updated just yet. Now in regards to performance, I have to say I haven't come across any major issues. No application issues, no crashes, no stuttering. iOS 13.1 is a great software overall. Now as I mentioned, I do want to talk about the audio sharing feature. Now this feature, as I mentioned, isn't fully baked, it isn't working properly, but it is working somewhat and I wanted to share my thoughts on the feature with you guys. So right now, I did try it out with a pair of AirPods here and you can see here, you can temporarily share the audio with these airpods and it's working okay okay so it's not working from the ipad to the iphone or from the iphone to the ipads but it is working with wireless headphones at least for me it is with beats and airpods as well so let's jump into the music application here click play on the music and then we can go to control center here go to the platter here for the audio sharing bring the airpods here in frame and connect these airpods as the audio source now you'll see that the share option will appear below there so once they are connected so once we connect airpods we see audio sharing click there and you can see here that it's supposed to be working with airpods with beads with ipads and iphones and you can temporarily share this audio and control the audio individually this is great for mood movies and TV shows. If you're watching a movie or a TV show on your iPhone or iPad, you can share it with different Bluetooth devices. It's really cool. The one thing that's interesting is that you have to repair the AirPods, although they're already connected. So press on the button on the back or on the power beats or the beats, and you'll see that they'll ask for the audio sharing option to be enabled right here. And then we can share the audio. Now we can bring another pair of wireless headphones and do the same thing, initiate the pairing process, and you can share the audio. And as I mentioned, you can go ahead and play with the audio individually and control that directly on on device so the feature isn't fully baked as of yet as you can see there but it is working somewhat and I thought it was an interesting feature to share in regards to battery I can't complain nothing whatsoever on the iPhone 11 Pro Max this iPhone's a beast in regard to battery can't really complain at all I mean I've been getting all day battery life and some more I also wanted to quickly mention that the night mode feature built into the camera of the new iPhone 11 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max you can see right here the night mode has been enhanced everything looks a lot sharper a lot nicer i've been using the iphone at night taking pictures and it looks a lot better and it performs a lot better than it did with 13.0 this feature was initially released with 13.0 but refined and polished as it was intended to be used with 13.1 i think you guys are going to love that as well so just a quick overall update on ios 13.1 i hope you guys enjoyed this very quick video thank you for watching have a great day guys and i'll see you on the next one peace